we have already seen uh, how to define the construction part so uh, what uh, we have done in the previous video that uh, we have considered this uh, uh, two two main roads lake north and lake south this one lake north lake south and two side uh, sidewalk sidewalk one and two this is sidewalk one sidewalk two in between there is median and uh, uh, two end this is grass strip one and grass strip two so now in this video I will discuss about the uh, lighting uh, that uh, street light uh, uh, fixer installation uh, along with the lighting pole and uh, choose the right uh, uh, luminaires so for that and for that you uh, will go for this luminaire selection so click here okay now here as you can see add road luminaire arrangement click here okay now what you can see one side one side these are the street light poles so automatically it has come with with the uh, with the calculation because uh, one luminaire I have already uh, saved here so that's why it has uh, taken that reference and uh, based on that it has calculated so okay uh, let's let's uh, define again and calculate how to do it okay so first of all this is the uh, this is the arrangement type so this is one side arrangement only on bottom side so as you can see this is the one side uh, arrangement for the street light poles if you click here this is opposite side this is this is also one side okay now this if you click this this is double side arrangement you can see so this is double side arrangement but if you notice this is uh, this is the straight one so pole to pole this is at the uh, same uh, same arrangement that means uh, you can say this is not a zigzag arrangement if you want a zigzag arrangement then you need to click here two sided zigzag arrangement now you can see this is zigzag type arrangement you see this pole is here this pole is here this pole is here like this so generally we select this type of uh, street light poles also in so many projects and this is in between this is the middle arrangement so we will use this zigzag arrangement two sided zigzag arrangement okay now let's come back here so this is the uh, pole distance pole distance you can uncheck this okay for this uh, pole distance uh, this is 15 meter by default but you can customize it pole distance means this pole to pole this pole to this pole not this pole to opposite side pole this is the same side pole to pole distance this is 15 meter okay we can change also we can we can customize this 12 meter you can see so if it is 12 meter then uh, space pole to pole distance is reduced and accordingly the number of lighting poles increased okay here uh, light center height so this is uh, basically uh, pole height pole height you can always uh, change also but uh, there is the cost impact as you can see this is already uh, increased height is increased but uh, this is uh, uh, you need to design you know that uh, cost effective uh, that optimum of that uh, optimum design so that is the purpose of this calculation as well so let's check let's go back to 8 meter this is the by default value but you can customize always and here this is the boom angle boom angle this uh, this lighting fixer boom angle uh, if you can notice 
here so this is the angle now 0 degree if I change you can notice here if I change this suppose 5 degree then you notice here yeah so this is now 5 degree upwards all the fixers and okay light overhang light overhang uh, this overhang now it is 0 meter uh, let's change to uh, 0.5 0 0.5 meter now you, you will see the change here yeah so this is the overhang okay now uh, overhang this is also done pull rotation no need okay number of luminaire per pole one uh, nothing else uh, now leave it okay now uh, to perform the calculation so this is the arrangement uh, this is the arrangement already uh, what we have done full angle right over here pole distance from roadway you can change this value also so if you change this value yeah now you can see this is uh, 0 0.5 meter if you change this suppose 1 meter yeah now this is 1 meter but uh, it is a uh, it is the obstruction uh, for this uh, walkways so let's move back to 0 0.5 meter offset only okay If you see the 2D view, these are the light fold with fixers. Okay. Now we have to select the luminaire, luminaire type. So what uh, you need to do, you need to do select, click here, select, and uh, these are my saved uh, uh, luminaire uh, uh, fixers okay uh, but you can uh, get it from uh, brands and if you click here go to brands then these are the light uh, fixer manufacturers so who are the manufacturers for street light you can simply uh, go there you can click here then it will come and then you can uh, download product catalog if you download product catalog then uh, you can download all the product catalog and from there you can select the luminar uh, fixer type okay so let's go back to our calculation here yeah. so i have i have selected uh, this fixer so as per this okay optimize all variants so this is for the uh, calculation calculation and okay now it has uh, calculated automatically but uh, what is the result if you see uh, this is the result you can optimize here lake road you see uh, this is the result light loss factor 0 0.67 okay now now you can see this data already came after the calculation this data uh, uh, these are the these are the parameters so what we defined uh, here you can see here pole distance is 12 meter so this is coming pole distance 12 meter uh, uh, pole height is 5 meter 5 degree uh, sorry uh, height is 8 meter this uh, 5 degree is the boom angle overhang 0 0.5 0 0.5 meter uh, we defined number of luminaires is uh, 1 per pole and this is the distance we already defined okay now below if you see this uh, these are the calculation reports output reports previously this side was there defined but this right side was not there this was blank so now after performing the calculation this data have here here so what is this this is for lake north so this would be greater than equals to 0 0.75 uh, so this is 
greater than equals to this is greater than 0 0.75 so uh, this green tick mark is coming that means this is okay it is uh, satisfying the criteria and u0 ei t0 and here uh, you see 0 0.3 but uh, here 0 0.98 we have achieved so this is also fine this is for uh, lake south these values are also okay okay this is for sidewalk sidewalk one for this what is this red uh, red cross mark that means uh, this is not satisfying this is not fulfilling the requirement what was the requirement for this p4 for this p4 it is already uh, uh, predefined for this p4 this is the limit Th this should uh, this should be uh, less than this should be greater than equals to 5 and less less than equals to 7.5 but it has uh, crossed this one what is this this is the uh, lux level so this is the lux level and this is minimum lux level okay minimum lux level it is uh, attaining but uh, for this uh, this is uh, extra so this has exceeded but there is no issue because we are getting extra uh, luminaire over here and if you don't want this value you can just uncheck this then then you can ignore this you can ignore this because this is not a, uh, a major error for this calculation so uh, for these two roads and sidewalks this uh, minimum lux level and average lux level uh, these are these are satisfying mainly for the roadways and okay now let's change let's change and uh, see what what will happen here suppose this is 5.68 0 0.84 like this so if we if we uh, change it here suppose 15 meter space 15 meter uh, pole, pole distance then what will happen just notice here yeah so it has calculated dialex evo uh, software it has already calculated automatically now it is reduced uh, you can see this is now 4.55 and this is also reduced 0 0.82 but it is still it is within the acceptable range so we can accept this one we can accept this is also okay and you can optimize this also this pole distance you can optimize if you click here then you can set the minimum and maximum range over here you can set and uh, step with okay and here uh, height also in case of height you can mention uh, minimum height maximum height and step with for boom angle also you can set for light overhang you can set from minus two this is one one meter so in this way you can set uh, you you can you can uh, customize also uh, like this so this is the this is the main uh, calculation for the uh, street light okay but uh, after the calculation how to generate uh, a report as your deliverable as your uh, project deliverable that i will discuss in the next session